The record reflects that the defendant is now present along with his counsel and counsel for the state. I have been advised that a uh, verdict has been reached. Are both sides ready to receive a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's bring in the jury. All right, uh, everyone may be seated. I have been advised that the jury has reached a verdict. Is that correct? Yes. All right, uh, if we can have the verdict form, uh, please uh, hand it to the uh, bailiff, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, if the um, clerk can please read the verdict. In the circuit court of the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Broward County, Florida, State of Florida, Eric David, I'm sorry, Eric David Robinson defended case number 17-11373, CF10A, Judge Bernard Bo Bover, verdict. We, the jury, finds as follows to the defendant, Eric David Robinson, in this case. The defendant is guilty of murder in the second degree as charged in the information. If you find the defendant guilty of any of the crimes listed above, you must answer the following questions. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant, Eric David Robinson, actually carry, display, or use a weapon? Yes. So we say all this first day of May, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida, with the four person, Rita and- All right, let's uh, hold the jury. If you, do you have their uh, notebook numbers? Let's go by that. Or I do not you do not. Numbers. Do you know which ones were returned to you? All right, uh, let's go by number. And the one that doesn't answer, we know that's the one that was excused. Yes, sir. So go, by go by, go just go by juror numbers. We're gonna go by notebook numbers, all right? Okay. Go ahead. Juror number one, is this your verdict? Okay, juror number two, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number three, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number four, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number five, is this your verdict? Juror number six, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number seven, is this your verdict? And juror number eight, is this your verdict? Yes. Okay, all six jurors have uh, answered in the affirmative. The two uh, numbers that weren't answered to, the five and the seven, were the two alternates that were excused. Uh, do we have, uh, uh, you, you have their phones, correct? Okay. Uh, when I excuse them, you can take it in the back and just hand, hand them the phones there. Um, I do have certificates of appreciation. If we can trade these for their juror badges, because we do recycle those. Okay, uh, uh, he'll pass them out to you, those certificates, when you uh, get your phones back, okay? One last thing before I do discharge you, I do have an instruction to read to you. The instruction reads as follows. Members of the jury, I wish to thank you for your time and consideration of this case. 
I also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room, except by court order. For centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious, from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. The bottom line is this. All those restrictions that I put upon you earlier are now lifted. You're free to speak to anyone that you want to. You're also free not to speak to anyone and to maintain your privacy, and I'll leave that decision up to each of you individually. Again, uh, I thank you for your time and effort expended on this case. I know you took your responsibility very seriously, and I do thank you for that. At this time, uh, you are uh, discharged from your duties as jurors. The deputy will take you out back and return uh, your, your devices to you and give you those certificates. And again, I thank you for your efforts on this case. This time, you may follow the deputy. All right, you may be seated. We're outside the presence of the jury. <laughs> Let's discuss um, setting a sentencing date. I am ordering a pre-sentence investigation, so we're going to need at least 30 days for that to be done. Can we approach 